Today's project is needle felting and this is a cute little penguin that I decided to make. This is uh, how it comes. This is from Dimensions and um, all the stuff is inside. This is really hard to open. So I had to open that off camera and here's what you get. You get the felt itself and this is what it looks like. It's wool so it's been dyed and you can separate it and open it and pull pieces off. And it comes in larger pieces as you can see this is folded and these are the Four colors you get black, white, red, and an orange color. You get a needle which has this um, protective piece on it because it's very sharp and pointy. <clears throat> and then you get a um, a stabbing block. Of course you can see I already used this with instructions and these are the instructions so it shows you taking a piece of the wool and you try to make it into a cylinder about that big of course there's a guide on the back <coughs> And then you use the needle and you continue to stab it I guess is the word and um, you make it into a shape and you, oh they call it needling not stabbing so you needle it until you make it to form what you need to make it to form and then it shows you you can add the um, white on and how to do it make the beak and the feet how to attach the beak and the feet making the eyes and attaching the eyes making the tail and the wings and attaching those and you can make the um, <coughs> scarf and that's what it's supposed to look like right there at the end result and this here is your little pattern guide of size so when you're working on each piece you make it and you try to fit it to be there you know you have to cinch in the neck you make your wings the same size the tail the feet and the beak so I did not think it was at all going to be possible. I thought it was not going to work. I really did not have any confidence in myself at all to work on this at, and, and believe that I could do it. And I did. I took the um, stuff that you're supposed to. I took the wool and I did exactly what you were supposed to and you just stab it like this you needle it needle it needle it needle it needle it and then you turn it and you needle more to make what you need to make in the shape and the size And so this is basically what you do and you have to be very careful not to stab your fingers so you have to be watching what you're doing and it does take time and it does make a little snapping noise because the needle will go into this uh, mat <clears throat> that they provide you with and um, so
So it's really neat, the feeling of what you make. And it feels so different from the wool that you make. It actually feels like felt um, when you, after you've needled it. And you make it into the whatever shape you need to make it into. And then this is the end result. Ta da! So this is the penguin I made. And like I said, I did everything how the instructions told, but I found the instructions just to be very vague. And perhaps because I've worked with some other things, I was able to fashion this the way it was to be done, but I'm not too positive. Now, <clears throat> after I created the uh, the body frame in the black, when I first did that and I was trying to put the white on, I just wasn't sure. So what I did is I actually took strands of, the, pretend this is white, so I pulled this apart and I took just a, a strand of it and I, and it was longer, so I twisted it, twisted it, twisted it, twisted it out, you know, to make like, almost like a yarnish kind of a thing, but very thin, and then I draped it where I wanted to outline where I wanted the white to go. And once I did that and I needled it in, needled it in, and um, so that's where I needled it right here, um, where this I wanted the white to go. Then I put the other white pieces in after needling them, and then I needled them on here. And to make the eyes, it was really easy because I, I just made little tiny, tiny round circular balls that, um, you know, were the size that I wanted for his eyes. And then I stabbed those. Uh, I, I keep saying stabbing. I mean needling because that's the word they use. And then I put them on here. And then this is all you did just to um, get them to connect. You connect them around the the uh, out surface and then you connect them in here and applying the nose or the beak part I had um, you know first you do it on the outside and then you do some on the inside to shape your beak and that's what you do so and, and attaching was just very easy. You just put it where you need to go and then you go in and you needle it, needle it, needle it. And of course I left it so that the wings have movement, you know, so you don't um, <clears throat> needle the whole thing down. And so I just found that this was a lovely project to make and quite cute too because Look at that. He's so cute. And, um, so yeah, I liked making this project very much. And I really could not believe that I could actually make a penguin or anything. I mean, there are other patterns, and, um, I kind of want to see what else I can do. So that is it. This is the penguin that I made and it's quite cute. That's the end of this video. I will leave a link below where you can get this item and try it for yourself. I do recommend however that if you are young that you do need supervision because there is a needle involved and um, you know but if you're careful and you already are working with crafts there shouldn't be any reason why you can't use this um, <clears throat> but you do have to watch what you're doing because one time I actually looked up and I was watching something on TV and was continuing to poke with the needle and I poked my finger. 
so you have to be careful of that okay so we will catch you in the next video I'll leave a link below I don't know if I said that but I'll leave a link below if you would like this particular penguin okay catch you in the next video